So we've been using PHP Mailer to send out emails within this application. And what we want to do now is switch that over to another service. Now this isn't going to take long at all because you're not going to have to update every route. Uh, we're going to use the same functionality. We're going to be using the Mailer class that we built as part of this series. This Mailer class just here. And message will have to slightly modify. But all uh, together, there's not going to be much to do. So the service that we're going to be using is Mailgun. And if you've not used Mailgun before, that's fine. Go ahead and sign up for it. And you'll need to either create a domain or use the sandbox domain uh, that we have here. So once you're set up with Mailgun, we can carry on with this. If you're worried about being charged for a service like this, Mailgun at the time of recording uh, has a free policy for under 10,000 emails sent. So it's very unlikely that you will actually be charged for this. But obviously what you can do is once you're finished with this, if you find another service which is free or cheaper, then you can go ahead and switch over to that one. I just prefer Mailgun. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is install Mailgun's PHP library because we're going to be uh, obviously sending email from our PHP application. So what we need to do then is switch over to a terminal under authentication and we're going to go ahead and require this in. We're also going to remove PHP Mailer. So under the GitHub page, uh, we use require and then the uh, vendor name is Mailgun and the package name is Mailgun PHP. So all we do here is composer require and just paste that in and we'll wait for that to download. So now that's finished, we can go ahead and get rid of uh, PHP Mailer. So Mailgun's just appeared here. We'll go ahead and get rid of this line because we don't need it anymore. And we'll just do a composer update here. So that's gone ahead and removed PHP Mailer. Okay, so now what we need to do then is look inside of our uh, start file. So just in here. So remember what we were doing is uh, for this mail item in the container, we were creating a new instance of PHP Mailer, setting all the settings, and uh, then returning Mailer, passing in that PHP Mailer instance. We're actually gonna get rid of all of this, and we're gonna create a new instance of Mailgun using our, our Mailgun domain and our API key. And for this, we're gonna need to update our configuration. So if we head over to config and development, most of this now isn't required. In fact, none of this is required. We're gonna create a, a few more keys here. So the first one is the secret. This will be the, our API key. We also have a, our Mailgun domain. And then we have who we want this email to be from. So for me, this is just gonna be hello at codecourse.com. Obviously you can change that. So let's pop in our secret and domain and then we'll copy the configuration files over to production so they're reflected there too. So if we head over to the Mailgun website where we have our domain set up, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this in. And then we also need our API key, which is this just down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in as well. So we're ready now, we can actually copy these over to the production configuration, like so. Okay, so now what we want to do is update this container dependency. So to create a new Mailgun instance, we just say mail equals new Mailgun, and we need to pass in our API key. And that comes from app config, obviously. And then we say get mail.secret. So we now have a new instance of Mailgun set up. We actually can now use Mailgun Mailgun just to import that because it's under the namespace of Mailgun. And we are now ready to start using Mailgun. But what we also want to do is because we need a few other configuration options inside of Mailer, we're actually going to pass through app config as well. So now that we've got this up to date, we don't need to do anything else here. This is pretty much all we need to do here. All we need to do now is update our Mailer and message classes. So over on Mailer, we now have this new dependency, which is our config, because we need to grab the from address inside of here. So uh, we can create a new property for this. Uh, protected config, that would be. And we'll go ahead and pull this in here as well, like so. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to update this main send method. And we need to work out how we can first of all kind of build up a message in the same way that we did here with PHP Mailer. So using the methods or properties uh, that we have. 
So if we head over to the Mailgun GitHub page uh, under source Mailgun and then under messages, you can see this usage for the message builder. There are other ways to send email, but since we have a kind of message builder built within our system, we're going to use this functionality. So to grab a new instance or create a new instance of message builder, we use this message builder method. So let's first of all do that. So up here, I'm going to say builder equals this mailer message builder. And then instead of passing in this mailer instance, we're actually going to pass through the uh, builder. And that will allow that message class to build up the message. And what we need to do before we do that is set the from address. And that comes from our config, which we've pulled into this class. So all we do is say builder set from address, and then we pass in the from address. And that's from our configuration. So we have our config here. We just say this config get mail.from like so. And we're now nearly good to go. We just need to update our message class. And then we did need to do something different down here for when we say send on mailer. So over to the message class then, um, we have pretty much the same thing. We don't need to add or remove anything in terms of methods. All we need to do is change the two subject and body calls. So instead of saying add address, we say add to recipient and we pass in the address there. For the subject, this is different as well. It's set subject, so a little bit nicer than PHP mailer, and we just pass the subject in. And the body is exactly the same as well. This time what we can do is we can either set a plain text body or we can set an HTML body. And we do that like that. So that is done. That is our message class. That is our mail class. We now just need to send the message. So to do this, what we need to do is grab our domain because we're going to be sending a uh, post request through to Mailgun's API and we need to supply the domain. So we'll grab the domain first. That's just this config get mail dot domain. And then to send the message, we say this mailer post. We need to pass in the domain here and then we need to hit the messages endpoint. And then in here, we just have the um, stuff that we've set within the message builder. So this is just builder get message. So let's just quickly recap and then we'll test that this works. We've modified our start file simply because we're not using PHP mailer anymore. Instead, what we're doing is we're using the mailgun PHP library and we've obviously passed our secret in there so we can access the API. And then all we're doing is returning a new instance of our custom mailer class, passing in the config because we need some additional config within that class. So we've just uh, dependency injected that in. So over on our mailer class, then we obviously have that config that's been pulled in. We've used Mailgun's message builder rather than the kind of message builder that we got from PHP mailer. And we've set the from address, which is pretty self-explanatory. We've then, instead of passing the actual mailer instance in, we've passed in the builder instance into the new message class or our message class, which means we can just update it as normal and just use the Mailgun methods rather than PHP mailer's methods. We're doing the same thing here. We're appending data. We're setting the body. We're calling that callback so we can actually set them from in that closure when we actually send email. So for example, when we are over in our auth register, we do exactly the same thing just here and it does everything. So it sets the two and the subject and stuff. And then we grab the domain. We hit the messages endpoint on Mailgun, passing in our domain. And we just grab all of the properties from the builder that we set using both our message class and this set from address just here. So you could actually go ahead and put this into the message class here. So you could create a new method. In fact, let's, why not do that now? We'll just go ahead and say from address. And all we'd need to do is grab this code here, put that in here and say this mailer set from address. And then we could actually go ahead and pull our config in. So we could say here, get rid of this, pass in address, 
And then over on here, all we need to do now is say message from and then put our configuration in. So let's just grab that value here and paste that in. So now what we're doing is we've just taken this, placed it within our message class and it looks a little bit cleaner. And that also means we can access the from method uh, within that closure when we actually send an email as well, if it's set. So now that we've done this, all we need to do is go ahead and test this out. So the first thing that we want to do then to test this out is just get rid of any users we have in our database. And then we can go ahead and register with that same email address without it throwing a validation error. So let's enter these normal details in here. We'll go ahead and hit register. And oh, okay, so we've got a little error here. Uh, okay, so what we've done, I'm guessing, is, okay, so I called this Mailgun and I'm passing it in as Mailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna either update this to Mailgun or update this to Mailer, or you could do the opposite, it's really up to you. So let's just hope we don't get any more errors. We'll delete this one. Go ahead and enter the email. Hit register. And that looks like it's worked. So we can head over to our email account and you can see that we have got that email there through. We can go ahead and activate our account using the link as normal. So there we go. We've updated our messaging functionality to use Mailgun. Like I said, if you want to use a different provider, just go ahead and as long as you can build up a message like this, you can go ahead and modify this to use the service you want. But now anywhere we're sending emails in our application will work because we're using exactly the same functionality that we built. We're just modifying who sends the message.